What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Toxic Dr. Mundo in honor of St. Patty's Day. Because tomorrow is, well, St. Patrick's Day. Well, today is St. Patrick's Day. And uh, here I am, playing the green top laner that I could think of that I didn't play recently. Because the ones I thought of were like Shamrock Malphite or Zack. And I was like, well, I just fucking played both of those really recently. So, we'll not be doing that. Now... In this lane that we're against, um, I actually haven't played against the Fizz top uh, as Mundo before. In fact, I haven't played as Mundo before in a very long time. Um, but, we'll see what it do. Because uh, we should... We should be okay? Because as far as Dr. Mundo goes, I feel like... I feel like what you want to do is is be super tank. Just be super tank. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do this game. Because especially with their team, like so much of my tankiness can come straight from rushing to Spear Visage. Because they have Katarina, Nautilus, and Fizz all on the same... Well, all on the same enemy team, obviously, because you know, they're not on my team, so they're on the enemy team. So we are against a Fizz who has the Crystalline Flask start. And hey, just wanted to ask you guys, how are y'all doing? Just how is everyone doing today? I mean, I just woke up a little bit ago. It's 6.18pm right now. Don't judge me. Um, sick Cleaver. I would say I nailed it. But uh, boop. just go ahead and keep chucking them. Because actually with Dr. Mundo, it's not really going to hurt you to just keep chucking Cleavers. Um, as long as you hit something with him. Because you get like half of your HP back, and he's going to try and do a bunch of damage to me here. Uh, or not, because he's not really going to try and do anything. And I guess that works as, just as well. So we'll go ahead and grab our E here, because I know it. Uh, your masochism actually makes your auto attacks hurt like a shit ton more, so it's really good for CS in the tower. And just the way that the, um, the wave is going right now, I feel like that this Fizz is going to try and get me under tower a decent amount. So... It may be a good idea to do that. So let's go ahead and just bop him across the face with that 40 attack damage increase, or 50, whatever it is, because it goes up according to how much health you're missing. So, bonk, get bopped. Oh, it's actually the first blood going down on bot lane. Great job, team. Fantastically well done there. And I'm actually not going to get that one. That's a shame. But let's go ahead and just use our potion real fast. Uh, pop the E, boop, get that. And I guess I'll get my W real fast, too, just to have all of my abilities. And I really, I guess I, I can't really afford to use that much of my abilities just yet. I mean, I kind of can, but I don't really feel a huge need to, you know? So let's go ahead and actually we'll pop the E after this minion. Boop. Ha! Get tower shotted, nerd. Oh, shoot, I'm going to miss like half of those. Son of a gun. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. We'll see how this goes, though. We got a level 2 cleaver, and now I can just kind of... Well, for now, I'm pretty much just going to be chilling, because there's no reason for me to get super ultra-aggressive on Fizz. Because, um, well, he'll, he will outlane me. He will outlane me. Blue build. Triforce Mirror Mana. Boop. Just go for the Triforce Mirror Mana shit. It works pretty well. Oh, there's his E, and looks like Rengar coming in right now. This is definitely going to be a kill going down on the Fizz. He knew for sure that he knew he was dead. So Rengar just coming in after Fizz uses Playful Trickster, even with his Flash, he definitely would have gone down there. So, fantastic timing from our Rengar here, and that will be, wow. <laughs> I guess Nautilus tried to dive Velkaz or something. And here comes Rengar, kind of. Never mind, he peeked out of the bush and then totally showed his face. That's not that's not how you do that, man, you silly goose. But that's A-OK. -okay. So let's pick up a Spear Visage up here. And I know that Fizz is probably very likely going to be building a lot of AD. Um, but he does a big combination of damage. So I find that getting the Spirit Visage will be the best ch ch What? Okay, well, 
So this will help us more than it usually would at this point in the game because he's going AP right now. Probably going straight for the um, the Sheen, the Triforce build first. But since we were able to get MR when he got AP, like it'll just help us that much more for now. And that works out really well for us. So let's see here. Did not need to use my teleport. I'll just run up here and bop him. Go ahead and give him a good old smacks across the butt. Get out traded. Get out traded. And then with uh, with my HP regen, I'm regenerating 10 HP a second. Um, so, you know, that's not a bad amount. What the heck? How did that cleaver not hit him? Have I even hit this slippery fish with a single cleaver? The answer is no. So let's see. 70 health if I miss that. Ouch. Got him! Boink. Got him. Hey. Come here. <laughs> Diz the flop fish. Get your butt over here. I ain't done with you, hombre. So let's go ahead and just leave the Burning Agony on for a second. It looks like Fizz hit level 6, but he doesn't really have any mana right now, so I'm not really not really afraid of an all-in from him. In fact, that's one of the last things I'm afraid of right now, because in fact, I think I'll kill him uh, if he tries to all-in me right now. And now that I have my ultimate, no fear. Zero fear whatsoever. Plus, oh no. The fact that I know Fizz is not running Ignite, and I know that his W does not apply Grievous Wounds anymore. I am not afraid of this Fizz, like, whatsoever right now. So let's go ahead and just cleaver him down. And look at this damage coming out. That's right, Fizz. That's right, little munchkin. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? So this lane has pretty much been seized. Um, weak pulled ahead at the beginning from that Rengar gank. And just look at the CS difference right now. From doing, like, nothing, I already have 10 CS up on him. Um, and that alone is pretty good. And now I'm actually going to try and push this as fast as I can. So either A, I can force his teleport so he can get the experience that he's going to be missing up here. Or B, he'll miss all of these minions and all the experience. And when you miss that much experience as a top lander, that's really not good for you. Like, that's really not good. And Velkaz is definitely going to be going down there. So rest in peace, Velkaz. Let's see, is he going to try and do anything to me? It's not looking like he is, so I'll just sit here and throw cleavers in his mouth. So, probably got that flask ticking. He does. He went back and got his sheen. So, 51 to 37 right now. And we'll just... Well, you can't back off the throttle. So, boink. Go ahead and... Come here. Boosh. Smack him on the butt. And actually, if he does try and all in me, all I have to do is pop my ultimate and kite him backwards for just a little bit. Because the second I do that, um, I will regenerate enough to be totally fine. So, in fact, I think I'll end up killing him because I will be so fine. Well, let's go ahead and you know, bonk. The cleaver is chunking him down. And as you guys can see, like, I haven't even backed yet. So there goes his playful trickster. And that will be some of my HP gone. I may actually, I think I'll just use my ultimate here just to regen anyways. So... Go ahead and pop the ultimate just to get the regen in. Looks like a double kill coming out for our... Triple kill coming out for our Rengar. And that will be very, very good for us. So I do need to kind of watch out for an all-in attempt now from the Fizz. Because he knows that I do not have my ultimate anymore. But it looks like he's still pretty scared of us. So that actually works out very well for me. Um, and let's see here. Do I want... Do I want that or that? I don't know. I, oh man. All right, we'll go with the Burning Agony because they do have a lot of CC, and it does, I think it also or, uh, reduces the duration of disables on me as well. Plus, it'll be really good for uh, wave clearing if I want to try and get Fizz out of here. So it's looking like, come on, man. You could have all in me for sure right there. Like, I would have had to bust my flash and everything. But instead, he's just waiting 10 more seconds until my ultimate's back up. And then we can just pop our ultimate again and regen a bunch of HP again. So, just keep chunking him down. And the second my ultimate is up, boop, let's go ahead and start regening like crazy. And look at how well this is going. So, boop. And just like that, I'm sustained back up in this lane. And let's see. Oh, there goes his playful trickster just like that. And, uh-oh. There could be an all-in here, and boop. I mean, I don't think I'll die. Boop. Yeah, I'm fine. So just bust the flash, I'm fine. So Nautilus ulted, 
Um, because I have a bunch of MR, I was totally fine from it. I may have been able to kill Fizz if I was super aggressive about it. And actually, staying right now is really risky. But, I'm doing it anyways because I can uh, get my Spirit Visage if I just get a few of these minions. Plus, I don't really want to miss the experience from, uh, from backing right now. So, we'll just clear this wave and boop. Make sure we get all of those. 81 CS so far compared to Fizz's 59. And we are 1 and 0. Oh, I can go get my entire Spirit Visage now. And that is going to be huge. So, got that full thing now. And with two potions in hand, I will wait for just a tiny bit of gold before I teleport anywhere to get my Stealth Ward. And actually, I might not even teleport here because I don't feel like I actually need to use it um, to get back in time. Because the wave's not pushing towards me. It's actually going to be pushing slightly towards him. Uh, I don't know if he used his teleport to get back up here. But now, with how close I am anyways, when he pushes this wave now, I'll be right under my tower and I can just last hit with my E on. So, it'll be super easy. Uh, and we're in a really good position right now. So let's see. The, why is Zyra coming up here? So it looks like we got Zyra coming up here to try and uh, gank for us or something. I'm actually just going to leave the lane frozen right here. Um, because if he wants to get CS, man, he's going to come have to get bopped in the face if he wants any of it. So he does still have his flash. I do not believe he used that uh, when fighting me. So I'll go ahead and smack him across the jaw right there. And let's just keep the fight up. He uses Playful Trickster. There is the flash. And uh-oh, there's going to be the knockup coming out right here. And... Boosh! Picking up the cleaver kill, just dunking on him, and the Zyra gank was a huge success. So, great job there. Flash down for Fizz, and that will be another kill on the Fizz for us. So, level up our W again, and get a potion ticking just for the sake of having it going. 27 HP regen per second right now, and Zyra is uh, a little dead. But... I don't foresee these guys being able to kill me, because I'll just pop my ultimate and be fine. So let's go ahead. Come on. Fight me. Fight me. Come on. I'll fight you. Come on. All right. Popping the ultimate right now, and let's see what we got. Boop. Just do as much as we can. Get the potions ticking, and look at that. They cannot get me. So, look at all of that. Even through all that damage, they still try to do stuff. And I'm just like, heh, <laughs> zero hoots, son. So, zero hoots have been given this day, even though there were three people pounding down on me. And they, they, well, they just, they just couldn't. So, come here, Fizz. Boink. Alright, he's out of there. And if we wait for just uh, 25 more seconds, I'll actually have my, uh, my ultimate back up again. Plus, <clears throat> at that point... If I don't die right now, which would be kind of difficult with how much HP regen I have. Um, granted, I don't have my flash. So I am a little susceptible to something happening. But if I wait just a tiny bit longer, I can actually have my level 2 ultimate to regen me for a ton more HP. So that could be good. So actually, I think I'll just wait for that uh, if I can. Boink. And we'll go ahead and chuck a cleaver into his mouth. And we'll go ahead and just chuck another cleaver into his mouth. And he tried to eat that one out, actually, and clearly it didn't work. So Velkaz will be going down again. It looks like he is 1, 2, and 0 oh so far. Bit of a rough start for him, it seems. But it looks like he's getting camped by the Nautilus. So that's A-OK. -okay. Um, it happens. It happens. And I think this minion will get me to 11. It did. So let's go ahead and just whoosh. Oh, dang it. So, you know what, let's, let's show them that we mean the, the Mundo business, bonk. Go ahead and give them the Mundo business. I don't even care that the tower shot just got me. I just had to bop him on the mouth, show him that, you know, show him that we run shit around here, okay? Like, we have zero hoots to give to this fizz. We have zero fear to display. And actually, I almost am at the point already where I regen enough HP to just leave my W on forever and actually not lose HP still. But this tower is going to be going down. I might want to try and teleport into that here in a second. Or my team doesn't need me, so that's also a good idea. Looks like Nautilus coming in. Velka is going to get ulted. Ezreal with the double kill. Vayne, oh, the triple kill. 
And here comes Nautilus. Ezreal wants it. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, they're not going to give it to him. So no one's going to give that to him. We'll go ahead and grab the Ninja Tab I here for uh, for the sake of not needing more tenacity because of my W. And we'll also grab a Giant Spell on this back. And then, whoops, I bought one extra potion that I wanted to. Actually, I shouldn't really need potions, so we'll just go ahead and buy the pink now. And looks like we got the first dragon. Oh, the second dragon. Nice. Very nicely done by my team there. And now with uh, 2,400 HP, we can check how much HP we're regening right now. Uh, 87 per 5 seconds just with full health. Um, and as that number goes down, it'll actually kind of go up in a sense because of uh, how it all works. Whoa. All right. Boop. Oh, nuts. Okay, we still got a lot of them. 124 at 16 and a half minutes so far. Don't know where this Fizz is going, but he definitely cannot do much of anything against us right now. And this is generally how Mundo lanes turn out. Uh, as long as you just don't play like a total goofball, you just don't die. And then you sit there and you just... Well, you relax and you have a good time just being this indestructible brick wall. And that's exactly what we'll be doing as we just get tankier and tankier. Now, one other thing you guys can remember is that um, Mundo is crazy good. Uh, not only with flat HP all the time, but a lot of CDR. Now, I'm not saying, oh, go get a frozen heart on him. Um... Because, well, for pretty obvious reasons, that probably wouldn't be your best choice. But, you can get so much work done with him. And looking like the Zyra stun will not land. Go ahead and cleaver him. Oh, no, the tower did 100 and boop. Oh, man. The cleaver miss. Oh, man. Come here, I'm going to bop you. Bop. <laughs> I'm going to bop you, son. All right, yeah, come here. Come on. Okay, I'm not bopping you. Oh, the Zyra root will not land the Nautilus. Oh, what? He didn't run up? Oh, the ultimate coming out from Nautilus. Here, let's go ahead and... Okay. Now I'm just going to walk out. Boop. All right, peace. Bye. Boop. I'm actually going to flash just to put a little distance between myself and them. And let's just see here. Come here. Come here. Bip. Bip. Bap. 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 Yeah, that's right, you Spider-Man out of here. And Alright, Katarina's probably on the wings. Um, so I'm not going to bother with going too much more ham. But as you guys can see, when they're all doing just magic damage to me, I'm not likely to die very quickly. Uh, especially with my ultimate up and the uh, Spear Visage. Like, it, ugh, it's so raunchy, man. It's just disgusting. So let's actually go ahead and boop. Thanks. Just take that from uh, from <laughs> Nautilus right there. Um, we'll get us just a tiny bit more monies. And, hello Fizz, it looks like now we have a new contender for the arena. And he's probably just going to flay... Oh, okay, okay. So... <laughs> okay, well he flayed the wrong way. <laughs> and... <laughs> All we kind of had to do at that point was zigzag like we were uh, walking away from an alligator and Thresh wasn't really able to do anything. So let's go ahead and pick up two more or two of these crystal embracers to work on our warmogs. Because warmogs will give us a lot of HP and a lot of HP regen. And those are two thi like two huge things on this guy right here. And then next up, I'm thinking I'll probably go for a Sunfire Cape. Or um or I could go for a Banshees, but I'm not sure yet. Not totally sure yet. Uh, I may just try and get some cooldown reduction on something if I can. It's hard to find a lot of good CDR items on Mundo because they're like... They have mana. <laughs> so on here, let's, let's take a look. So Zeke's Herald is actually a possibility. Twin Shadows is actually a surprisingly good item on Mundo. A lot of people are like, no, you're stupid. That that wouldn't be good. Okay, you know what? I'm sold. I'm getting the Banner of Command. After my War Mogs, I'm getting Banner of Command. No one can tell me otherwise. Because with all of the magic damage on their team, they're going to have a really hard time taking down my super minion that I make. 
And with just the amount of pressure that item puts up, and the fact that it gives me, um, goddamn CDR too, like, everything about that is giving me, uh, it's, it's making me about half chubbed right now, just thinking about it. But we'll see how it makes me feel when I'm, uh, when I have the item. So yeah, come here. Come on, Fizz. Come on. Come on. Yeah! What you gonna do, boy? What you gonna do, little Diz the flop fish? What you gonna do? Alright, I'm just gonna pop the ultimate here. Because it's pretty short cooldown, and we'll just walk out. Fizz no ultimate, but me no ultimate. But me having no ultimate is not a big deal. So, as you can see, it's already going to be back up in less than a minute here. And, as we get the banner of command and some other stuff going here, it's just going to slow, like, it's just going to get even more lenient. So let's go ahead and just, oh, what? I missed? Rip. Alright. So let's go ahead and just fight this Fizz. Because he's not really going to... Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Fizz. Come on. All right. You guys want to fight me too? You want you want some of this? You want some of this, Fizz? Come here. Come on. Come here. Come, right. Right. Come on. All right. You know what? I got to get out of here now. I've got to make my great escape. So let's go ahead and just cue him there. And... Yep. <laughs> they still cannot do anything to the Mundo. Now, if they try to kill me right now while I'm pushing this wave out... I just have my ultimate, so hashtag no fears. Uh, let's actually go ahead and pop that now, just so we don't have to take the time to regen in case someone does chum and try and kill me. But it's not looking like they will, so just charging forward here, regenerating 175 HP a second. Um, we are definitely, definitely doing Mundo things. We are doing exactly what Mundo do, and what Mundo do is not die though. So let's go ahead and boop, get all of this. Looks like uh, Fizz getting the blue. And man, they are trying really hard to kill me. And it's, it's cute. It's really cute. So, alright, here he comes again. Round number three. Wait, no, is this round three or four? I don't know. Boink. So he did hook me, but it's not really going to matter. Because I think, yeah, yeah, it took me like 24 games. So let's actually go ahead and go back here. We did pick up the third dragon, which will be the movement dragon. And let's see. Let's see here. We'll get this full war mogs, which will make our HP regen go up by a lot. And let's go ahead and stop talking here, because it's kind of impolite to you guys for me to keep talking um, while I'm recording. So let's see. What do we say? Banner of Command. The Banner of Command. Let's go ahead and actually just get the Fiendish Codex here. Because that will actually, I don't know if we even scale off of AP. Yep, there we go. We'll do six more magic damage to nearby enemies per second with the Fiendish Codex. But we'll have 10% more CDR. So, our ultimate already now on a less than a minute long cooldown from the second we use it. So, by the time the duration is done, it'll be only a 45 second cooldown. And that's only with like less than 25% CDR. That's pretty good. And if you look at my HP regen right now, I am regenerating almost 30 HP a second right now. And that's enough to just leave my W on all the time, basically without getting hurt. So it looks like the Ezreal ultimate coming down here, and I'm going to go ahead and just... Wait, is there anything for me to teleport to? Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to be making any big saves there if I teleport now. So... I'll just hold my post up here. Well, let's just go ham on Fizz, because it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll just beat him up. So the ultimate coming out from Fizz there, taking not a lot of damage on my part. So, Fizz no alt now. Let's go ahead and boop, get that. 206 CS so far. Let's go ahead and just run back at Fizz again. Look at all this damage. Just look at it. Uh, nail him with the cleaver. And Fizz is probably going to have to go back now. We definitely put it right into his butt in places that he probably didn't want it to be put in. So let's see. What do we do? Do we try and dive him? Or do we just take the turret first? I think we should just... Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, Nautilus. Hi, Nautilus. Bonk! Alright, go ahead. Do it. Do it. Fight me. Come on, Nautilus. Let's battle! Alright, popping the ultimate right now. Go ahead and jump on this guy. Look at the damage coming out. 2v1 me! Alright, 3v1 me. Alright, the hook is gonna miss. Let's go ahead and... You know what? Should we keep up the battle? Come here! Mm. Mm. Yeah! 
So, 3v1 in 2v1 in whatever you want to call it. Didn't even really lose health because of my ultimate. Looks like our Ezreal reconnected. Alright, here I come. Boink! Go ahead and smack you across the jaw. Look at this damage coming out. Actually gonna miss that, so let's just see. What does this guy think he's doing? It's not like a tower really affects me. I'm gonna go ahead and flash on this guy. And boop, the face of the mountain coming out. Give me that! So, first death, but I wanted the kill too badly. I wanted it too badly, because I was feeling extraordinarily bloodthirsty. So, it looks like, oh, we got an assist for that too. Fizz went down from Velkaz, and will Rengar get the Nautilus? Looks like the hook will not land Spider-Man and just go over to the other side of the wall instead. And that will be the end of that exchange, I believe. So... We are not very far off of having this uh, this whole banner of command. And after I get it, it looks like they're doing primarily a lot of magical damage to me. Uh, fizz a little bit with the basics, but it's not really enough for me to itemize for, other than maybe a Sunfire Cape, which is probably going to be the only thing I do get. And actually, let's just go ahead and grab a Ruby Crystal for this. And I still haven't had a real need to use my TP, because the rest of my team, or team is doing pretty darn well. Uh, the only reason it's this close in kills is because Zyra has been sacrificing herself a lot for whatever reason. And what the hell is Mundo doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Look up and he's just like... He's just wiggling his face on the wall. I mean, that's cool. So let's see if they... That pink has lasted me for a while. Very cost efficient pink. So they're going to come try and kill my tower? Is that what these fools are going to do? Because you can't kill my tower, guys. Not when I'm here. Not when I've got something to say about it. So I actually probably should have brought Ghost instead of Flash. But that's okay. Just the little afterthoughts. Also, while I'm thinking about it, if any of you guys used to play Dungeon Fighter online, um, I'm going to nerd out here for a second. But that game is fucking... No! No! Get off my ward! My ward! My ward. My ward. You can't take my pink that easily. Using the teleport to save my pink ward. Best use of teleport you can ever imagine. And let's see here. Anyways, as I was saying, guys, uh, if you did play Dungeon Fighter Online, make sure you holla at your boy. And it's looking like we got the Nautilus damage coming out. The ultimate from him. All right, let's go ahead and just stand in the middle here. Popping the ultimate for us. So now we got that speed boost, now we got that HP regen, and this will be boink! There's gonna be one kill coming out onto him, and let's see, boink! Got the slow, alright, there's the flash, and another slow, boink! And that will be another kill, let's go ahead and just take this tower while we're in his face. Come here, Katarina! And there goes her ultimate, but that will not matter, oh! Oh, they surrendered, okay! So they ended up surrendering that game. As you guys can see, Nautilus, or not Nautilus, the Mundo top lane is just so beastly tanky, it's disgusting. So we ended that game 4-1-2 with 231 CS. Um, overall, we did pretty well CS, and we did a fantastic job just um, destroying Fizz in lane. As you guys can see, almost a full 100 CS over him, and he just couldn't really get anything. So, other than that, let's look at the damage here. <laughs> Holy shit! The Mundo doing the most damage in the game. As you guys can see, not only am I tanky, I am also a beast. So, hold on, let's look at the healing done here, too. And, oh, Rengar barely outdoing me right there. Tis a shame. What about uh, damage taken? Yes! Come on, did I beat Rengar? Yes, I beat Rengar! So, the most damage taken... Most damage dealt. Man, we went beast mode that game. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite list me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch on my second channel. All four links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!